the woman prepared to listen to her friend. She knew that she often got into trouble because of her curiosity. Julia simply could not stay away if something interesting happened. Therefore, I often found myself in the thick of things, although she usually knew how to get away with it. The friend started talking. Even before her vacation, she was planning to visit the village where her relatives once lived. I wanted to go to the cemetery to clean up my grandparents' graves, but it was not possible to find time before the trip to the sea. Therefore, Julia planned a visit for the days after her return. The last couple of days of rest were ruined by her husband. Gina said that he met a former colleague, and he was constantly not at home. He returned completely drunk, and on the eve of departure, he arrived in the morning and couldn't even get to bed. Fell asleep right on the floor. When his wife started to wake him up, she turned him over from his stomach to his back, and I saw that my husband's shirt was stained with women's lipstick. She was never able to wake up the cheater and left him in the room with documents. She herself got behind the wheel of the car and drove home. I decided that my husband should find a way to return himself. She was so angry with him. She herself went straight from vacation to the village. On the way, I bought brushes and paint to paint the fence. I also stopped by the church to light candles for the repose of deceased relatives. Grandma and Grandpa were buried at different ends of the cemetery. It just so happened. Therefore, she first went to her grandfather's grave, where she cleaned up and put everything in order. There was a lot of grass, and the fence was very peeling, so it took a long time. Then Julia went to her grandmother, noticing how well kept the grave was. Apparently, Aunt Valya recently visited here and got rid of the weeds, but it wouldn't hurt to paint the fence. But the time was approaching evening, and the woman decided that she would finish everything in the morning, and he will spend the night with his aunt. Before leaving, she sat down on a bench and told her grandmother how she was doing. She loved doing this even as a child. She told how her husband treated her. For the last couple of years, things have been bad for him and Gina. She understood that she was not happy. Her husband was just walking, but she wanted peace. After going to sea, she decided that she would divorce him after returning. After all, having children from such a man would clearly be a mistake. At that moment, a woman's voice was heard behind her, saying that she was doing the right thing. After all, living with such a person will only spoil your future. Julia turned around and saw a woman of about 50 in a beautiful dress. She greeted her, and the stranger continued her thought. She said that she herself tolerated her wandering husband, but this was of no use. She tried to argue with him, sent him to the hospital for treatment, and even tried to talk to the healer, but nothing helped. The husband continued to drink, and she gave birth to a child in the hope that he would change. It didn't help and it only got worse over time. The husband started beating her, and one winter, returning from a party, he froze in the snow. The women talked some more. Yulia was pleased to share her problems with someone, but still, she got ready to go home. It was already quite late. She asked the stranger if she needed a ride, since she was driving anyway, but the woman just grinned and said that she had not far to go, and she would get there on foot. The next morning, Julia went to the cemetery again. I painted both the fence and the cross, and I left the gate open to dry out. Later, the aunt had to come to close it. When she was finishing painting the fence on the side of the monument, she noticed the neighboring grave. There was a photograph on the cross, and it showed exactly the woman she had seen the day before, in the same dress. Not remembering herself from horror, Julia ran away from the cemetery. She immediately got into the car and drove into the city. I didn't even remember how I ended up on the highway. On the way, I was in such a hurry that I almost had an accident. All the time it seemed to her that now there would be a dead stranger in the next seat. Now she was asking her friend what it was, as if she couldn't believe that this really happened to her. And Irina could not find a logical explanation for what was happening. The friend only assumed that the spirit of the stranger had heard her story which she was telling to her grandmother. So he showed up to her to tell her about his own fate and to say that she shouldn't kill herself for her husband. The friends talked for a long time, discussing what had happened. 
it was difficult for them to believe that the spirit of the deceased really appeared in this world. But Yulia was still scared. She understood that she would never be able to forget about what happened. And after this, she certainly won't be able to forgive her errant husband and will soon file for divorce.